box. Look what we find. Lots of packaging material. Oh boy. That's a lot of packaging for a magnet that's only 2x2 two two in inches long and wide and 1 inch thick. A lot of packaging. So, in here is an actual magnet. And once I cut this open, I'm going to take away this knife because you don't want sharp objects flying away. And it's really wrapped tightly. Well, I guess you don't want it to stick to the postman's van. But, um, God. How do they do this? I see. Yeah, so neodymium magnets are usually considered rare earth magnets as they are exceedingly strong compared to you know, typical ferrite magnets that you see everywhere else. Yeah, look. Literally, my knife literally is now stuck to this. That's how strong it is. Out of all these layers of bubble wrap, it's ridiculous. Look. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want my knife flying to my hand once I open this package, but these magnets are not to be underestimated. They can do some serious damage if not if no proper care isn't taken in handling these things. But look, through all those layers of bubble wrap, I can literally pick it up and have it like this. Pretty strong stuff. So, open up the rest. Wow, there's more stuff to go on. Well, I guess it's cautionary to to um, well, okay. Now I can unwrap this bad boy. Put the knife aside. Any metal objects near this? Calculate, it's like the strength of this magnet. You say it's 1415 gauss. 14,500 gauss, which is like 1.45 Teslas in strength. So, pretty big. Amount of bubble wrap. Oop, you can see it there. I don't want to get my phone too close to this because I've actually yes, because you might actually probably demagnetize a SIM card, which not good. You also want to keep credit cards away as well as computer hard drives and stuff. Oh, I guess it fell out. Ah, uh, now that's what I'm talking about. This magnet right here. Is an N50 grade neodymium magnet. It's two inches by two inches by one inch thick. Supposedly this has a pull rate of 250 pounds plus. I bought this at Applied Magnets and I hope to not smash any of my fingers when handling this magnet. I mean, on, in the pictures it looks bigger than it does now, but this is the high grade stuff right here. This is much, this is the stuff that you don't want to be careless when playing around this, because this can injure you, just like those bigger ones. Well, hope to see you guys soon. I'll make more videos, you know, with my magnets and stuff. Maybe do some experiments along the way later on. See ya, guys.